probably heard of polyester. It's a very common um, polymer in fabrics. Um, polyester is an example of a condensation polymer. Um, a condensation polymer is a polymer formed by reacting difunctional monomers to give polymer a, a polymer, and then you also get a small molecule, um, often water, as a byproduct. Polyester is a condensation polymer, and um, the monomers are joined through ester linkages. So common monomers um, for making polyester are dicarboxylic acids and dialcohols. The, the carboxylic acids and the alcohols will react to form an ester. Two important um, condensation polymers are PET, which is polyethylene terephthalate, and lactamer. So PET, which, you know, if you pay attention to recycling, you may see that on some of the plastic containers um, that your food comes in. This is prepared by reacting uh, terephthalic acid, which is a diacid, and ethylene glycol, which is a dialcohol. So here's the diacid. We have the carboxylic acid group over here and over here, and this is ethylene glycol, which is a diacid. Its uh, IUPAC name would be ethane diol. When, when these two react, we lose a water molecule here and form an ester linkage. Because these are a diacid and a dialcohol, they still have another functional group that can react. And so this leftover alcohol group can react with a leftover acid group on another molecule. And so you can form a polymer that way. So this one, the acid on this side reacted with that alcohol. The acid on this side can react with a different alcohol. And the alcohol is double-ended also. And so it's like people with two hands. You can hold hand with one person on this side and one, one person on the other side, and you can make a long chain. So PET is um, used for making textiles. Its uh, trade name is, or um, trademark name, whatever. I'm, I'm missing the word there. Anyway, it's called Dacron. And it's used in many other plastic applications. When it's uh, used as a film, it's called Mylar. So Mylar balloons are made out of this sort of plastic. Um, a disadvantage of, of PET is that it cannot be used at high temperatures. And that's why it's important, um, you know, it's good to reuse and recycle and, and all that, but you need to be careful where and how you reuse your plastic food containers because some of those are made out of plastics such as PET, which are not intended for use at high temperatures. So if you take a, a you know, perhaps it was a yogurt container or sour cream, something that came um, with something cold in it, and then you try to use it to put something hot you can end up either, um, you know, just damaging the, the plastic container or worse, you can end up leaching various organic substances into your food. And so it's important to be careful with this, what you do with plastics. Um, if we need a, a plastic like this for use with higher temperatures, then we use uh, different, different monomers. Um, lactamer is a brand name of a polymer, a polyester, that's used in surgical staples. And this is pretty cool. You know, you have surgery and they have to sew you back up or staple you back up, but then you don't necessarily want to have, have to go back in, especially if it's, you know, abdominal surgery and you've got multiple layers. You don't want to have to go back in and take the staples out. And so lactamer is great because it will... Um, it'll dissolve. It takes, it takes quite a while, which is good because you want the, the tissue to heal up before the staples dissolve. But it dissolves and is metabolized and the products are lactic acid and glycolic acid, which are present in your body anyway. So here you have a plastic that will degrade into completely safe compounds in your body. Your body metabolizes and, and gets rid of them. So that's kind of a cool polymer.